Can clothing hide the wearer from surveillance cameras? Check it out. Hi. I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this new every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, Rachel Diderot, the founder of Italian fashion tech startup Capable wanted her clothing and designs to have a function beyond fashion. And the resulting manifesto collection is a line of sweaters, hoodies, t-shirts and pants that are all part of an experiment in adversarial artificial intelligence. She is trying to create a blind spot in those all-seeing facial recognition systems that have become a fixture for surveilling public spaces the world over. They created a line of clothing full of hidden animals, people, and other distracting shapes that are like bright shiny objects that facial recognition algorithms glom onto. The clothing line attempts to have facial recognition misidentify humans and instead identify them as zebras, elephants, giraffes or dogs. News source, The Record Art Movement and Company Clayton, who also created chocolate vape sticks, engraves Louis Vuitton's signature design on app workers' delivery bags to voice out its support for the writer's working conditions. Appearance-wise, Clayton captures the details that have made Louis Vuitton handbags a fashion phenomenon, even naming their own Louis Clayton. The delivery bags display the Damier canvas of the Mason in its lush brown color, easily spotlighting the crisscross style of LV and the handbag's symbols. Aside from being boxy, the Louis Vuitton delivery bags mimic the staple app and food writers might need when they consign products. News Source Design Boom Retails has been picking up the pace from the introduction of basic self-checkout tilts in stores to the use of robots and AI in supply chains. Now tight labor markets, rising wages and consumer spending pressure are forcing the industry to go further. Mark Shirley, head of logistics at Irish-founded Primark, estimates the use of automated cranes rather than manual forklift trucks has increased the site's efficiency by 80%. And crucially, the use of autonomous vehicles means the company no longer has to compete in the extremely tight Dutch labor market, a challenge felt in many advanced economies. When you take the industry as a whole, people are moving that way to mitigate their labor risks, Shirley told Reuters. He estimates the retail industry is 40% automated, but sees that jumping to 60-65% to over the next 3-4 to four years. News source, Freethink a new breed of wardrobe apps could help reduce fashion waste, by enabling people to make the most of the clothes they already own, swap clothing with people with similar tastes, and ensure that clothing is resold rather than sent to landfill, BBC News reports. Save Your Wardrobe is an app that allows users to manage their clothes by creating a digital version of every item in their wardrobe. Via the app, garments are scanned, identified and stored virtually. Then the app can remind you of everything you own, with the hope of getting unworn clothes back into use. PopSwap is another app designed to reduce clothing consumption. It's designed to match you to other users who share your size and tastes, then allow you to swap BBC. clothing to create new looks without the need to buy anything new. News source eBay has acquired 3PM Shield, a provider of AI-based marketplace compliance solutions as the e-commerce giant looks to simplify policy compliance for sellers and keep the site a trusted marketplace. The San Jose-based eBay said the transaction further enhances the company's monitoring solutions with new technologies designed to prevent the sale of counterfeit items, unsafe products and illegal goods. According to a press release, the 3PM Shield acquisition will enhance eBay's ability to address suspicious or harmful seller behavior, and potentially problematic items. News Source fashion network and that's it for today if you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week check out our new podcast 360 fashion or go to 360